clevis hangers can be accessed through part manager and if I open up part manager here and come down here you'll notice there's three different templates here for the hangers we have the clevis domestic the flat top and the V bottom with the addition of the hangers we've also added threaded rod because this will also come into play when we're placing these hangers so first of all, let's go into the drawing and we'll look at just placing hangers using the EC hanger tool. So what I'll do first of all is I'm going to come and route some pipe and let's just go in here and we'll give it a uh, four inch diameter is fine. We can specify the cut lengths if we want and I'm going to go ahead and specify a hanging elevation of 10 foot. So now as I go through here and, and route the pipe and I'll go ahead and make the turns here that I want and route the pipe at 10 foot elevation. I'm now going to come back and switch the pipe up to let's say 12 foot elevation at this location and then we'll continue on here. So we just made a simple run with the four inch pipe. Now the pipe hanger tool will stop at reduction sizing and branches so you need to make some decisions accordingly. Uh, as we go through here to place these hangers I'm just going to come to our hanger tool here which is pipe hangers. As I go and follow my command line it tells me to select the pipe so I'm going to just come up here and select the pipe that I want to start with the hangers. This brings up our dialog box to place the hangers with. If you'll notice here we're on the options tab as we come in here I've got selected here a hanger clevis domestic stainless steel. In this particular case I want to go to the pull down and I want to select my flat top plane end. And it's picked up the hanger size for the pipe from the pipe I selected. Here it says no rod. I'm going to go ahead and say I want it to pick up the all thread rod and the insertion is based on pressure pipe layout. We'll notice the difference here between gravity and pressure pipe we'll get into in a moment. We also have offset from pipe when we start from a branch. It's going to start two foot from that branch. Offset from elbow the same thing. When we turn a corner the first new hanger is going to be placed two foot from the center of the elbow. Here of course you set up your hanger spacing and here you set up your hanging elevation which I'm going to go ahead and put this at 15 foot. Another tab that we have back in here is our extended data tab. Extended data is going to allow us to add attributes to the hangers to schedule, but they will not show up as a uh, item in the model. They will just be attributes that we can report on. So you may say, what do you need here for your upper attachment? Maybe I want to put in an insert. Vibration isolation, I can just say, maybe I want to put in some spring isolators. And we can say saddle, shield, seismic brace, nuts and washers. Just other items that we can have if we want. If we don't want to use them, we can just simply de-check them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just put in here in this, let's just say NA for not applicable, and maybe here I'll put in that I want two each. So just some suggestions of how you may want to use some of the information here. Now as we go ahead and hit OK, it's going to go ahead and place these pipe, these hangers, throughout my pipe run. And you'll notice here that it's placed the hanger, and when I come and I select the hanger, you're going to see a line going back to the pipe, the start of that piece of pipe. This is because that hanger is anchored to the line so that if we make a move with the pipe, the hanger will move with the, with the pipe. Okay? So that's in placing these hangers. Now if I come back here to view these and just let's look at an object viewer here and let's look at what we've done with our hanger spacing. We've gone in here and we've spaced our hangers and placed the hangers on the pipe accordingly. The top elevation of this hanger is at 15 feet. I can come over here to this hanger, any hanger, and I can select the rod by going in and selecting right on top of the rod there. And it's giving me, in my properties here, all the elevation information. Here's my end elevation at, eight, at 15 feet. Well, maybe there's something in the way that I can't get to my 15 feet. In this particular one, I need to put at 14 foot 2 inches. So now just by selecting that I change the elevation height to the top of that hanger. So if we look again 
at these three hangers on this pipe by going to the object viewer and let's flipping in these into the front view we'll now see that I shortened this hanger right here the rod on the hanger does it uh, include something for the hanger depth like say you've got a blue banger in there that's going to insert into the deck like two inches or would you just uh, use a higher elevation for that? You have to allow for that today in the elevation that's correct. Perfect. But let's talk now about doing some sloped lines with the hangers on them. So if we'll come back here, or actually before we do that, let's do one other thing. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to run some more pipe four inch again, but this time I'm going to include insulation on the pipe. So as, so as I come down here to the uh, routing options right here, I'm just going to say I want to put one inch insulation on my pipe. So now when I go ahead and run the pipe to wherever I need to go, the insulation is shown in the model as well as the pipe. So you can see the uh, exterior insulation on the pipe there. Now when I come back to place my hangers by just typing or selecting the pipe hanger, and now I go in here, and that was 4-inch pipe, you'll notice now it's picked a 6-inch hanger for me because it looked at the pipe and it saw the insulation in that run and says, okay, I need to oversize the hanger for that insulation. You can accept this uh, selection of the 6-inch and just say OK, and it's going to go ahead and place those hangers on the pipe around the outside of the exterior insulation. So if we look at this again in the object viewer, you'll see now that this hanger is around the insulation. The other thing that we can do here is we could say, no, we don't want to go over the outside of the insulation. Maybe we've got to hang on the pipe and not to the exterior of the insulation. So again, when I come back up and I make my selection for my hanger, if I come back here and select that point, and I'm going to come over here and get this pop, I can always come back over here and say, no, I want to use the 4-inch hanger. It's going to identify for me in red that I'm overriding that. But now when I go ahead and select that and it's placed the hanger, you'll see the hanger is the pipe size, not the insulation size. So you have options to do it either way you see fit. And if we look at this one here in the object viewer, you'll see that that is engulfed in the insulation. Okay? So that's with the uh, pipe without the slope, with and without insulation. Now if I want to do some gravity pipe, I'm going to come back and I'm going to select a different type of pipe. I'll run here some, uh, let's say some no-hub. So if I go to select my no-hub routing preference, and now we're going to go in here and I'm going to make some uh, uh, a slope on this. And I'm going to do this at, let's say, minus a quarter of an inch. So if I go minus 0.25. Now when I go to run my, my pipe here, it's going to be tracking my slope along the run. And I made it a quarter just so it would be a little bit more obvious than the eighth inch. So now we've run the hangers here. Now I want to come back, or we've run the pipe. Now I want to come back and put the hangers on the gravity sloped pipe. To do that, I'm just simply going to come back, same steps. I'm going to select that I want to place a hanger. And now when I go to place the hanger onto the pipe here, and this one has the insulation on it, so I'm going to leave it on in this particular case. I'm going to go in here and now it's selected my 6-inch pipe for me. But I'm going to go over here and say instead of using the pressure, I want to go to the gravity pipe. The difference is it gives me the offset from joint because now we have to place a hanger so far either side of that no-hub joint. So we have a selection in there now to select that. The extended data is also available in here to insert that you're going to, the type of the material you're going to need here. I'm going to need a clamp. I'm going to say maybe not applicable on that. Uh, seismic bracing, not, not NA, but then maybe again I want two each of these. So it's just a matter of typing in the information you want. And we'll go ahead and place these. Now since these hangers were placed sloped run, we come back here now and we're going to take a snapshot of this from the front view and look at the difference in the slope. So now you can see the, the hangers are sloped, but the rod all goes to the same finish elevation. So that's going to give us a different cut length on every one of those rods that we just uh, put onto that sloped pipe. So you can do the sloped pipe with and without the insulation, the uh, non-sloped pipe with or without the insulation. 